Hello, I hope you're having a great day. Today I'm actually still up in Maine. However, we're at a uh, rental cabin at our cabin. We have a, quite a few family members there right now. Um, so we actually are staying at a Verbo rental. It's the second one I stayed at. A few weeks ago when I was in Boston, that was the first one I'd ever stayed at. I was in Boston for two weeks. I was in Maine before that, but I was in Boston for two weeks and then I was sick for the past week and a half. Um, so now I'm getting back to making videos and I hope to, I might make another vlog video like I did last year in Maine. Um, we'll see, might make some other videos. But anyway, today I thought I would talk about eating gluten-free at restaurants. So this is something I didn't really touch on that much in my Becoming Gluten-Free video that I made a number of months ago. And I've eaten at way more restaurants since then. So for me, I have, well, we don't know if I have celiac. We know that I am very sensitive to gluten. Um, and basically the doctor that I spoke to um, almost a year ago now when we were discussing um, my, I guess you could say relationship with gluten, um, she said basically to take it, you know, we would take the same approach as if I have celiac or I don't because you know, you need to be very careful. Um, but anyhow, so restaurants. Well, what I usually do is I'll find a restaurant. They'll sometimes have gluten-free items on the menu. If they do, then I'll call them up. Or if I'm at the restaurant already, I'll just ask them, um, you know, do they keep it separate? How, you know, are the chefs very careful with keeping the stuff separate? Is there a high risk of contamination and all of that? And sometimes I can trust their answers. Sometimes there are reasons why I might not necessarily trust them so much. Um, and it really depends on the restaurant. Now, one general gist that I have found uh, that somewhat applies in many cases for many restaurants that I've gone to, when it comes to the big national chain restaurants, like Olive Garden, for instance, um, like my experience with Olive Garden, one time I ate there and they said everything was separate and they're very careful and I didn't have a problem at all. I didn't get any reaction. And then a few days later, like three days later, or two days actually, it probably was, um, like a month ago, same situation, I ordered the same thing and yet I got a reaction for, you know, the rest of that night and that was pretty horrible. And obviously now I won't be going back to Olive Garden considering that 50% of the times that I've eaten there, I've gotten uh, sick. Um, well, way more than that. Since becoming gluten-free, before I figured out that I was gluten-free, I probably got sick from Olive Garden too many times to even count. Um, every time that I would have gone to Olive Garden, I felt horrible afterwards. But anyhow, um, so that's a place, you know, in a lot of the national chain restaurants, I feel like, at least in my experience, it's not only Olive Garden, but some of the other chains, I just don't really trust them as much compared to some of the small businesses. When I have, when I ask the small businesses and such, usually um, they seem to be somewhat more careful and more accommodating in some ways than some of the national chain restaurants. Um, so in some ways I do trust them a little bit more. Um, there were some restaurants in my area, such as Silver Diner, that have done a great job. I've eaten from Silver Diner a few times. Um, I think only twice. Uh, their food is kind of salty in my view. Um, there's also just a local Italian restaurant I got food from once in my area. And then up here in Maine, there have been a, quite a few places that I've gotten food from. If you're in Portland, Maine, there's a restaurant that's called, I believe you pronounce it Maize, M-A-I-Z. It's a Colombian street food restaurant where everything is gluten-free. And at restaurants where everything is gluten-free, um, then there's really, you know, pretty much no risk that you really have to be nervous about. Um, and there's also a few restaurants in my area. There aren't that many, I would say. There is an app that I believe is called Find Me Gluten-Free um, that sorts through the restaurants. And that's how I actually found that Mays restaurant in Portland. Um, we're not so close to Portland, but whenever we go through there or we're visiting or passing through, um, so far I've gotten food from them four times this year and I hope to um, get for food from them again. It's very good food um, and a very nice service as well. There's also a restaurant in Augusta, Maine. The only restaurant it appears to be that one of the only in Augusta, 
main, at least the only that I, the only one that I've been able to find, um, besides that Olive Garden that I got sick at once, um, is the Cloud Nine Restaurant, which is located in the Senator Inn and Spa. And that restaurant is one that I'd eaten at every year since I was like, as long as I was alive pretty much and able to eat food. So probably when I was like two and older. Um, and they have a few gluten-free items on the menu. Not that many though at the moment because they did shrink their menu because of the pandemic. Um, but their uh, salmon, ginger, maple salmon salad is gluten-free. And you just, I always let them know to the chef there um, has the gluten sensitivity or celiac, I don't remember what they said. Um, so the chef, she's very careful when preparing the food. Um, so when the chef, when you know the chef also has um, the same thing or similar thing that you have, then, you know, you can trust them a little bit more to be careful because they wouldn't want gluten ending up in their food. When I was in Boston, there were also a few local restaurants that had gluten-free food at the program that I was attending. Um, in their cafeteria, they did have some gluten-free food. Out of all the times I ate there, I did get sick only once. Um, but that brings me to the actual interaction with the employees. So that one day I got sick at the program, the person making my gluten-free pizza didn't seem like they were being as cautious as some of the other people. And the other day I called up a restaurant in Lewiston, Maine that claimed to have gluten-free pizza. And, you know, I was asking them questions and the person on the phone was just, yes, yes, yes. And that was like their only answer. And when the person is just saying yes over and over, you don't really even know if they're listening and you don't really know if they're telling the truth or if they're being careful or, you know, really, they don't, you don't know what they're answering to necessarily. So I didn't feel so comfortable with ordering food from them. I might have been okay, might not have been okay, but I'm always on the more cautious side. I know some people that are gluten-free that will just buy a salad at any restaurant and tell them to try to keep it separate. Um, I personally wouldn't do that myself just because I feel like there's a very high risk, you know, when you're, let's say they have gloves on and they, you know, get croutons out of like a bin or something and then they're touching the lettuce and tomatoes and such, I'd be very concerned that some of those crumbs could get could get into my food. Even just a few crumbs would make me get sick. Um, so for me, it's not really worth the risk of that. And I will say that I have been, you know, eating much more food at home, especially during the peak of the pandemic. I was really only eating food from my house and a few family members' homes. Um, and when I'm making it myself, I can be pretty certain. With the silverware and such stuff at restaurants, um, often restaurants have, you know, very good cleaning dishwashers, but I still always feel for residue. Um, sometimes I will feel some uh, residue on, you know, a fork or a knife or something, or maybe my plate, and I'll just ask for a different one because even just, you know, if it's some schmutz on a fork or something that I can, if that happens to be have gluten and whatever that is, you know, even just that could have the chance of making me sick. So I'm very careful with every little thing. And that's really the way to go about it, I would say. And if you're not sure, if I'm not sure, you know, if I'm really certain about a restaurant or not, I don't risk it. And I don't eat from the restaurant. I, sometimes I'll bring my own food, usually I eat before, and then, you know, go with my family to the restaurant. I've done that a few times. And um, that's usually fine and often other restaurants are fine, you know, especially if they don't serve any gluten-free food, then they're, they're usually fine with me bringing my own food to eat so I can eat with my family. Um, so usually restaurants are very accommodating. But anyway, that's pretty much what I wanted to talk about, you know, eating gluten-free at restaurants. Um, if you have celiac or you have gluten sensitivity, obviously, you know, you already know, be very careful about it. And, um, you know, if you're not sure, as I said before, I don't really risk it at all. Um, but anyway, I hope to make some more videos soon. It has been a few weeks that I haven't really been able to record that much because I was sick and in a program in Boston. Um, and anyhow, thank you very much for watching this video. As always, have a great rest of your day and you can always subscribe below.